The Paria River area is a spectacular landscape of gorges and canyons cut deep into the sandstone. Round Valley Draw is one of the best not-so-technical canyons in the Paria area, suitable for beginners. Along the eastern boundary of the catchment runs Cottonwood Wash Road, providing access to a number of interesting hikes and slots. This road becomes very slick after rain, making it almost impossible to control the vehicle, so it's best to plan your visit during stable weather. You can make a loop hike through the canyon and back along the rim, so you have two parking options, the normal parking upstream in the wash, or on the slick rock bench near the exit. A well-defined trail leads from the standard parking area alongside and in the wash to the start of the Narrows. If you park on the slick rock bench like us, you'll do the canyon rim walk at the start of the day. The whole loop hike took us two and a half hours car to car at a leisurely pace. Oh, the, as soon as the wash hits the Navajo sandstone, it cuts straight in. Some nice lines there in colours. Yeah, beautiful lines and stripes in here. Convoluted slot. Let's do a little down climb. The technical crux of the canyon is in the first hundred yards with a 15 foot downcline. There are plenty of footholds and the canyon is narrow enough to span your hands and feet across to tension and take your weight. Anyone with a little outdoor adventure experience should be able to downcline without too much drama. One exit option is to return back up canyon, so you will need to climb back up this drop if you choose that option. The Navajo sandstone has amazing photogenic horizontal lines through the next hundred yards. So many lines, stripes in the rock. The narrows widen soon after, but the walls continue to deepen and you'll find yourself in shadow for most of the hike. Always oh, amazing to see how high flash flood debris is. Almost half a mile into the narrows, the North Fork will join from high above but making an amphitheatre at the confluence with large boulders. Well, we've reached the junction with the North Fork. Main canyon goes left, North Fork's at the right there. Got some boulders to work around and some very recent rockfall, just reminding everyone that canyons are a changing environment. So, climbing down through the boulders. The boulders seem to reposition themselves after floods, so conditions will constantly change but you'll likely need to route find the easiest way through and will likely need a short down climb. After the confluence, the scrambling difficulties are over, but you still have one and a half miles of lovely walking under towering cliffs to the standard exit. Beautiful lighting. Shock tip! <laughs> Special trick for canyon boys, huh? The canyon winds around, and at a certain angle on right-hand bends, the walls close back in to six feet wide, often with beautiful lighting. The walls are so big, it's always difficult to get the depth and perspective on camera. Canyon is coming to a T junction. You can continue down the left there to Hackbury Canyon. Well, Round Valley Draw comes through to a big T. There's a fault line canyon, so this is one exit option up to the Slick Rock Bench. Oh, and the trail runs up to the Slick Rock Bench trailhead. If you've parked in Round Valley Wash, you'll rim walk from here. Various trails running cross country to the rim to return to the Round Valley Draw Trailhead. On the trail back to the head of the canyon, there are three distinct trails at this point, all on different levels of ledge. Or you can go back up canyon, where you'll need to upclimb through the boulders at the north-south fork junction and the crux at the head of the canyon. Or you can continue down for a longer hike to Hackbury Canyon. 
Round Valley Draw is a good canyon, offering an exciting challenge to non-technical hikers. It's a worthwhile objective for anyone when in the Bryce Canyon area or driving through the area to or from Page, Arizona.